I met Trevor in I think June 2007 and it just seemed like a real normal good guy and offered me his lucky egg for $900. You know, you'd have to be a fool to turn down a lucky egg for that price. It wasn't until a bit later that you know, I realised that it wasn't even that lucky. He just controls every aspect of your life. He told me the egg's luck would wear off if I spoke to the police or my family. You know, that wasn't a risk I was willing to take. In cases like this, the victim of a scam can develop an almost religious attachment to the subject of that scam. So the more evidence they're presented with to indicate that they're being tricked, the more likely they are to believe that they are in the right and everyone else is wrong. Uh, except for in this case, because the egg that I purchased from Trevor uh, is going to increase in luck um, quite dramatically, I believe. About three years ago, Trevor tracks me down and says, I'm sorry, it was all a lie, here's your money back. And I was like, nah. I could see what was happening. He was trying to get all the luck back for himself. So instead, I gave him all of my money and I bought two more eggs. And had I known what I know now, I probably wouldn't have given him all my money. Look, I may have. Do you have any eggs? <laughs>